Yo, I guess it's perfectly fine if you show up to the meeting looking and sounding like this, but what if you could actually show up like to looking and sounding like this? Listen, Ventura, Mac OS Ventura is out today. And the purpose of this video is to show you how you can use your iPhone as a webcam in the new Mac OS. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and jump right into the video. All right, so this video couldn't have come at a better time because if you've been following my channel, if you've been following me on social media, then you know I've been talking about how to get started with the YouTube channel, how you can actually record and make your own videos. And I was literally getting ready to do a video on how you can do this with your phone, but what better time, the announcement, Mac OS Ventura is out. Now, I don't necessarily want to get into the weeds of that. There are 30,000 other videos from other Apple experts that you could uh, that you can go watch talking about Ventura itself. But really, all I care about is this one feature that is going to allow you to now use your iPhone as a webcam natively on your computer. It's going to be called the continuity cam. So long as you have an iPhone that's running at least iOS 16. So I believe that goes back to the iPhone 8 and the XR. As long as you have that and you have a machine that allows you to run um, Ventura, then you're able to utilize this feature. I'm going to assume that your phone is already updated to iOS 16, and I'm going to assume that your computer, your Mac, is already updated to Mac OS Ventura. If not, I'll put another video down in the description on how you can update both of those things. I'll drop it here in the info card or here in the info card. It just depends on where, you know what I'm saying? Uh, YouTube decides to put their info cards today because it seems like they're always changing things. But so you can do that and then come back and watch this video. So let me show you how we actually get this done. All right, so this is a very simple process. Once you've updated and upgraded your computer to Ventura, once you've made sure that your iPhone is on iOS 16, pretty much the first thing that you need to do is you wanna go to the control center on your Mac. If you don't know where that is, top right hand corner is to the right of the magnifying glass. I'm gonna go there with you now. You wanna to toggle on that. The control center is gonna show you currently what application you're using, and you wanna click on video effects. The reason this is important is it's gonna be is going to show you specifically the modes that you are able to control using the iPhone. So again, you can use center stage. Remember center stage? That's going to be um, where the phone keeps you in center and then it follows you, all right? Portrait mode, you know what portrait mode is. It's the same as using your phone. It's gonna blur out your background. And then studio light, if you don't already have a light set up kind of like I have now, of course, that's gonna give you some added lighting features or whatever to kind of make you pop out really from the background. And then desk view, which is really a game changer, allows you to actually get a top down view so you can view whatever is on your desk. So if you're doing charcuterie boards or um, arts and crafts, or you need to show some type of diagram or something like that, or if you're into tech and you're putting things together, they actually have put in the software somehow, some voodoo, some magic, to give you the ability to have a top-down view of what you have going on your desk. So that's the first thing you wanna go to your control center. Now here's the real beauty of this. This might be the simplest thing ever because you get to go in any current application that allows you to choose a camera or a microphone and basically just select the camera. So let's say you wanna use QuickTime to record a video. We open up QuickTime, we go up here, we go to file, we say new movie recording. Typically it's gonna default to, you know what I'm saying, your FaceTime camera. But as you, as you can see for me, it's defaulting specifically to my camera just to make sure you see what I have available. So we can choose the FaceTime camera. Woo, that looks pretty horrible. <laughs> or we can go back to the iPhone camera. The other thing is you get to choose the audio source. So the microphone, this one in particular, I can either choose, you know, my MacBook Pro microphone, I can choose the Ecamm virtual mic, but you can also see if I have a microphone connected directly to my iPhone, I can utilize that microphone as well. So that's QuickTime. Does it work in Zoom though? As you can see, I've got Zoom open now on the screen without me even having to go into a meeting. I'm just gonna go over here and click on this cog wheel over here under my picture. We're gonna go into settings. I'm gonna go down to video. As you can see, it's gonna default to my FaceTime camera. Again, I look pretty ugly on that. 
But uh, as you can see here, I have Walter's iPhone camera available. Boom. It must be magic. I don't even know why I started singing that. Bruh. That is one of my favorite songs um, by Tweet. But it definitely must be magic. It's so magic that Mac OS even decided to send me a tip in the middle of my recording. Thank you, Mac. I don't actually need that. But again, there's the iPhone camera that I can use in Zoom. Well, I may not need QuickTime. I may not need Zoom. You know, if I want to stun on my friends on the FaceTime call, come on, like FaceTime is native to Mac. You already know it's going to work on FaceTime. But the next app I want to show you before we get out of here is Ecamm Live. If you watch my last video, you know that's pretty much my central base of operations where I record all my videos. But the reason I want to show you specifically Ecamm Live is because you actually have the ability to kind of tweak the look you really don't like how the camera looks, you have the ability to tweak it. So let's show you Ecamm Live. All right, so what you're looking at now is the camera effects panel that is inside of Ecamm Live. Again, I'm not gonna do a full rundown of why I love Ecamm Live so much. Y'all check the info card or the link in the description because I've talked about it a thousand times. But this is going to be a game changer for Ecamm because previously you would have to download an app or something that would allow you to take advantage of an NDI protocol. And I really believe that's what Apple has found a way to build natively into the software without calling it that, probably using their own protocol, something with silicone chips or whatever. But again, NDI basically does the same thing. It allows us to use the phone. It's just that that magic they got doing with the desktop view and all of that, they took it a step further. But again, if you wanna use it in something like Ecamm, it's a game changer because I'm able to kind of change the look using the camera effects panel. I wanna show you that in a quick second, but the brightness, the temperature, the tint, the saturation, the gamma, if I wanna mirror it, black and white, rotate it, shoot. Clearly, I'm not even taking advantage of the max resolution because I don't have this click. So make sure I have that click next time and apply that to all of my scenes. And I'm wondering if the quality of my video actually just got better, but let's take a look at that. All right, so quite honestly, I don't know if that necessarily made a difference or not, but I'm gonna keep it click just to be on the safe side. Now, one of the things I noticed is that this is pretty heavily saturated. So I can really get funky with it and create my own custom look. But if I'm just doing something on the go, on the fly, I'm gonna go back over here to my camera effects. And I may want to change, you know what I'm saying, the uh, white balance, which which for them is going to be temperature and tint. So, you know, if I wanted to get cooler, I can pull that down to cooler. If I wanted to get warmer, I can pull it to warmer. We're going to keep that at zero for right now. Brightness, of course, I can make it darker. I'm going to make it brighter, you know, change your exposure. The tint, you know, if we need more magenta, if we need more green, we're going to keep that at zero. Saturation. Some of you like that film look, you know, a little bit more desaturated, kind of trendy film. Um, there you go right there, more of that desaturated look. Um, honestly, for myself, I look pretty saturated right now, so I would probably go roughly about negative five, negative four. I think that looks a little bit better than it did. And of course, the gamma, I can change, taking some of that contrast out or whatever. But again, that's the dope thing. And what I could really do is just run this inside of Ecamm and then Ecamm has the ability for me to use a virtual camera. So if I wanted to then run it inside of Zoom and have this crazy presentation, I could. But again, that's another video for another day. All right, so hopefully you find this as dope as I do, especially for all of my content creators or for those of you who are doing presentations who are doing meetings, you, you still find yourself in a hybrid or virtual space, and you just want the quality of your videos to look better. You don't have to go out, buy a webcam anymore. Take that Mac, upgrade it to Ventura if you haven't. Make sure your iPhone, again, if it's capable, compatible with iOS 16, which I believe goes all the way back to the iPhone 8, then you're going to be good to go. Let me know, have you updated the iOS 16? Have you updated the Ventur? Do you see yourself using the iPhone as a webcam? Can you get by with it? Forget just using it as a webcam. Do you see yourself just starting your YouTube channel and creating content like this? Listen, I'm excited. It's a game changer. I wanna hear from you in the comments. Hit that like button.
smash that subscribe button. And while you're at it, click that bell so you can be notified every single time I post new content to the channel. But until next time, I'll catch you guys in the next video.